So today we're in the basement and I cleaned up my workshop table because my friend Bob here is an expert on glass. He's a glazer. He does this for a living and my windows are in really, really bad shape. Um, so he was so nice to come here and show us how to do this because I've tried this and I've screwed it up so really badly. I actually, I bought this thing. It's called a putty chaser and you put a drill on it and you go and um, it destroyed the wood. I guess maybe if you were careful you could do a good job, but I, I did not. A few things that we need to start with. You need to get, get yourself a putty knife. Um, I find the ones that are, have a little bend like this work really great. Um, kind of just what I'm, I'm used to using. Um, and also, the thing about putty knives, and to get a really nice job, the, the key is to have a stiff, a stiff putty knife. You don't want one that has a lot of flex or bend to it. Because you've got to apply constant pressure to the putty as you're, to make as you're running bead. it to make the bead nice and smooth. And another thing you need is either a gasket scraper or a putty knife with like a, a sharpened edge. Just something that you can knock the loose putty out. This putty is, is, is really old and dried out. And as you can see, it's kind of chipping off and flaking. So this is going to be really, really easy to clean out. Just kind of get in there and you wow, want Wow, look at that. You want it? <laughs> that's, you want it? that's in bad shape. You want to go nice and easy because you don't want to break the glass that's in there. Um, and if you do break it, it's not a big deal to re replace it. But if you can avoid it, you want to. You want to avoid it. And when you're scraping this out, you got to be careful because if you look, there are points that actually hold the glass in. It's a little piece of metal, like right there. A little triangle. A little triangle, and that's called a point. So, again, you just bust all the old putty out. And sometimes it goes a little harder than this. When you, <laughs> yeah. This is, when you're doing a just a, a reglaze like this, it, the most important thing is that you want to get the... The, the real loose stuff off. If, if some stuff is, is still nice and tight to the wood, it's okay to leave it. So you don't have to, it doesn't have to be completely. Right, exactly, it, exactly. We actually, we call it spot glazing. Now this is all, this is all pretty, pretty clean. You want to just to make sure you get a nice smooth edge, and just clean this up. Just so that you're not going over any loose stuff because then that'll cause the putty not to stick. So you want to just get it, get all the dust out of there. Now, I brought um, putty that I use is called DAP. Take your putty knife and get a handful of putty here. And you want to kind of squish it all in to your hands and get it all nice and soft and pliable. It helps if you have the latex gloves that we, I forgot to get some. But, you, so. you know, and you want to get the putty nice and warm so it's pliable, it, pliable, just like kneading bread. Get it all, uh, get it all nice and soft. And sometimes when you have older putty that's been sitting around your basement for a little while and you want to reuse it, you'll notice when you open up the can, if air gets into it, it starts to dry out. If you take a little bit of linseed oil, and you don't need much, just like a little cap full. Yep. Put a little linseed oil in there and knead it around a little bit. That softens it up and makes it nice. Now what we do is you take the knife and you can hold it. And you'll see as I'm doing this, I kind of flip it around the knife and I use it every which way. But you use it the way that you feel the most comfortable with it, you take and oh, I wow. actually pack the putty in there first. I just go right down the line. You don't have to be real neat about it. We can clean it up afterwards. Just pack it in there so that it's all nice and into that groove so you don't have any voids in there. And then what I do is I take the knife and if you can see, I'm, I'm kind of putting this edge against the wood like this. Got an angle there. And I've got my angle like this with the front edge picked up so that I'm not dragging the putty and pulling it out as I'm as I'm going with it. Then what I do is I push in tight like this and I find the angle. And the way I find the angle that I'm gonna I'm gonna work at is I go by the sight line on the inside. Oh where the molding is on the inside. Because you don't wanna go over that sight line or you're gonna see the putty right. from the inside and right. it kinda doesn't doesn't look real great. So what you do is you find your angle, apply steady pressure. That's the trick. Steady pressure. You just go down, and if you push, you'll see that you can. I'm actually cutting the putty out of the way as I go yeah. Yeah, on both sides. And I start to lift my knife when I get to the edge, tilt it, and then come up like this. And that wow. gives me a nice clean corner. And then you could just take your finger, and peel that out of there, and bingo, one side's done. Nice. And if you look, you got a nice sight line. Look at the difference. From oh, the inside so that you can't see. Exhibit A. Ooh, original exhibit. 
<laughs> now the thing is with this putty, you can buy all different kinds of putty. With this putty, once you're done, you don't want to uh, you don't want to paint it right away. The best thing to do is to, to let it, and if it's cold out, it takes longer for the oils to dry out. Mm. So the best time to really do this is uh, early fall or in the summer or late spring when it's a little drier weather and it dries out quicker and then you can paint it. Do you have to paint it? You don't have to paint it if you don't want. I've been like, I was taught that you kind of rolled the putty up into a long hot dog and then you stuck it in the groove and... I've done it that way too. <laughs> now like on this side, I'm, I'm right handed so it's easy for me to go like this down this side rather than going like this. So now that I'm switching sides, I'm going to flip my knife the other way and go the other way. Wow. And I'm just going to do the same thing just backwards. That's amazing. Just like so. I've been dreading doing this and then now it's so simple. And again, the key is having a nice a nice putty knife. That's the trick. Can you get those from any hardware store or is it a specialty um, item? You know what? We order these in bulk. We get a bunch of them at a time and we get them from a, a distributing company called CR Lawrence. This oh, way you can either go, come from this end and go that way or I flip my knife around and go that way. It doesn't really make a difference. So when I get into the corner, now that I'm, I'm ready to mend two seams, yep. I'll take my knife and I'll put it at, at an angle and come up the corner, like so. Yep. Nice. Wow. And then when I get to this edge, I'll do the same thing. Oh, it's that sweet. Come up, come down. So to get the gook off the glass, do you let it dry and then you can use Windex or something? You can, you can clean it right away if you want. Um, the key is not to push hard with the paper towel against the putty. Like this putty, I mean, you can you can run your finger down it or whatever. Like if you get a little lump, like like see, I got a fingerprint in it. Yeah. If you just take your finger while the putty's still wet, you can get rid of that. Press and the top. So the thing I didn't realize is that you, if some of the putty is stuck in there, you can leave the old putty in there if it's already if it's adhering well. Right. Exactly. You can just work over it. Exactly. I mean, it's the. You really, to make a nice a nice glaze job and to make it the easiest, it is your best bet would be to get all the putty out of there. Right. If if you don't if you don't really if it doesn't if you really want to reglaze all your windows and you you're worried about any old putty being in there and the putty comes out really hard, another trick is that you can do is you take either a uh, heat gun and a hair dryer will not work. So you you need either you a, have heat, to have a paint heat gun a paint heat gun or a um, a torch. Yeah, something like this exactly. And you just want it, you know, you put your flame on low and just go back and forth and and you just you just warm up that putty until it gets a little soft. And then you take your torch away and you can just kind of go right ahead right and up. scrape right it right down. This is the pain we just did, and if you look, you can't see any putty yeah. coming to the inside, so you have really nice sight lines. Oh yeah. Yeah, because on these other ones you can see the putty sticking out, and Bobby's does not stick out. Sign of a professional here. So that wraps it up. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Bobby. And it's time now to, to come to the barn again. <laughs>